guys, welcome back to this all new episode of R&D Garage. We are working on part three of Grandpa Truck, AKA our 1969 Ford F-250 Camper Special. And yes, my voice is still a little messed up, but I'm gonna power through and finish this up for you guys <clears throat> with various moments of that. So anyway, I also want to thank all my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you, everybody who's been watching along the way. And you know what? We're just going to get started. So, okay. You notice, I think we left off yesterday with um, the floats. So basically, they had to be aligned just a little bit. One was too low, one was too high. So we went ahead and did that off camera. Remember, it's going to be different for yours. So moving on, I took out the left one. I don't know if, if you're anything like me, I still have to go right, left. <laughs> anyway, we took out the left one. And now what we're gonna do is install this very, very delicate flower rubber thing. So, which is a technical term, by the way. So the very first thing we're gonna do is actually, I'm gonna dip my finger in this oil, especially laid out over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of moisten the shaft. So that way it'll be a little bit easier slipping it in the teeny tiny hole. <laughs> okay. And that is basically on the side. I'm going to change it just so you can see the hole. And then it's that guy right there. Sorry guys, dead battery. It's weird how sometimes these cameras are like, oh, I got two bars of battery. I've got, <laughs> I'm dead. So anyway, that's what happened. Okay, so now we are going to implant this delicate flower of our little rubber plug into the hole right there. So I'm gonna turn it around because it is very sensitive, very delicate, and I don't wanna mess this up. Okay, so I am going to insert it, and there we go. And basically, you can pull it a little bit, but again, be very, very careful. Okay, we are ready to move on. Okay guys, so here's another view. This is what it should look like flush. Beautiful. And so when you peek inside, you'll see that there's a shoulder that actually has to get through that hole too. Again, be very, very careful because the, the rubber is very delicate. Okay, now we got a four-parter. As soon as that little rubber flower thing is in, we're gonna go ahead and insert the spring. And when I say insert, you're gonna to have to hold it with your hand. And remember, you wanna use the wide part of the spring on top and not the small end um, or the, the smaller diameter because that'll keep it shut and you don't want that. So go ahead and place that like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this little guy on. And again, you don't wanna insert it. You want the metal side out, the protruding end out. So I'm gonna... Try not to talk a lot, but uh, okay. What I think I'm gonna do is like this, like this, and it's gonna be one of those squashy kind of things. And then we're putting this on the end of it. And, oh man, I missed the shot. Okay. That. So we're going to hold that down. This is really slight. Okay. And then we're going to try to pin this all with a screw. And it's weird because, it, yes, this is the correct school, the screw. They are the old vintage screws. And so when I tried this before I did it just now. It felt like it wasn't correct, but yes, it is. So I'm just gonna tighten it down just a little bit more. And okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Probably should have done this in the beginning. make the job easier for you. Obviously don't smush stuff, but this is clearly a lot easier than coming in from the side. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm not gonna tighten them down like super tight, but that's good enough for now. Let's move on. Okay, so I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is the accelerator pump, and now we're gonna put in the accelerator pump linkage. So this basically goes in exactly how it came out. <laughs> Makes sense. And it also is supposed to have this little clip on the other end, but it's a one-time use clip, and so I'm saving it for the very, very end of the carb install. Um, or rebuild, or however you want to say it. Okay, so I'm putting the clip aside. So you notice this has a notch down below, like a little shark fin. And so you're going to want to come in on top here and uh, lift up a little. Because, nope. yes, you want to get it so obviously there's room for the notch to fit in. So you can't just fit it in the hole. Now I'm going to slide over and then I'm going to come along here and I'm going to lift up. And we're going in, I don't know if there's a way to move that, but we're going into the second hole down. And so what you have to do is kind of bend it back and fit it in just like that. Linkage done. Okay guys, it's secondary diaphragm time. This is kind of the most annoying part of rebuilding the car and kind of the hardest time. So I'm gonna need Dee's help just to kind of hold it up and you'll see why in a second. And basically um, the reason why I need his help is because I don't have a vice right now to stick this in. It'd be a whole lot easier if I did. Come on, Dee. <clears throat> Okay, so first of all, you guys see this really flimsy piece of rubber here. Well, every time he pulls that lever down, it sucks in and we don't want, yeah, we don't want that, like a little tiny woofer. The reason why is because eventually we'll have to put the screws in there. But this is the most aggravating part right here. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I just didn't want to have happen. So basically this little teeny tiny ball is, if I can pick it out, okay is gonna go in right there. And so I'm just gonna do it before I freaking lose it. There, okay, so we heard the tank, it went in. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a gasket on top of this little tiny rubber gasket thing and line it up, beautiful. And there it is, of course, we put it over there. Okay, so this already comes with the spring on it, which is awesome. So again, we're gonna line it up, press it down in the middle, and then, you, oh, you know what, you know what? Hold on, before you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a screw in so I know where to line it up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. Look at that, woman's ingenuity. Okay. Beautiful, okay, that's getting tightened down. The more times you do these, you get to you get to learn little tricks, what makes it a little bit easier. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten these down. You guys don't need to see us tighten down the screws, you know what to do. <laughs> Yay, the ball is in, it can't be lost. <sighs> okay, so there's a couple different ways to know that you got this on right. First, after you get everything together, you wanna make sure that you can see both the gasket and the rubber lining all the way around, which we do. Yay. Okay, this is pretty cool. To know that the ball is still in there, you hear, do you guys hear that? So there's both a click and a hiss. The click is the ball, and this is pretty cool. If you block this hole right here, it stays, which means everything is seated. Yay. Okay, so just like the other one, now we have the linkage rod to the secondary diaphragm. So again, we've got a notch, but this time it's gonna be a little different because we're coming up from below. So again, since it has that notch, I'm gonna come up like, oops, like so. Why is it not letting go? There we go. Okay, so it can be a little struggle. And that's sometimes what I like to show on R&D is not me getting everything correct the very first time, because nobody does that. Okay, even if you've done this a bunch. So now I'm gonna swing it over 
and I'm going to fit it in the hole right down here. Bam, just like that. Okay, so now is the really, really fun part because we've got a little teeny tiny baby cotter pin. And so this is going to go basically sideways. And what I'm going to do is use my needle nose and fit it in just like so. Beautiful. And then I'm just going to press it down just a little bit. Oops, just try not to wreck the rest of the card. And yeah, we're actually good. It's in. Okay, it's been cherry time. So I'm starting with the secondary because the first has a bunch of other stuff, including another teeny tiny ball. So we're going to save that for another take. But this part is super simple. So I'm gasping for air. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take this gasket and put it into place. Lines up perfectly. And now being very careful because you don't want to bang these around, I'm going to put the shafts down just like so. And it should just firmly fall into place. Awesome, we love that. And now we're gonna go ahead and screw it down. And with, I don't know why like Ford and all their infinite wisdom chose only flat-headed blades or flat-headed screws to do this. Because what you think like, you know, yeah, you guys know where I'm going with that. Perfect, that is put together. <sighs> well, we got another one of those little teeny tiny balls. It's a little bit bigger, as Dee helpfully pointed out to me, but not much. And it has to go in the middle hole, basically the screw hole. So I don't know if you guys were like me and you played with one of these games as kids where you kind of like sent the ball. It was like this wooden box and you sent the ball rolling and you had to avoid holes. And anyway, it feels like it's the same thing. But anyway, we're going to put it in the middle hole. Just like that. Woo! Okay, now it's a good day. So again, this is the primary Ventura. We've got the gasket in place. And this time, again, we're gonna go ahead and slide the shafts in. Bam, seats very much like the secondary. Okay, another different part. So this little shaft right here, or pin, is going to be holding against the ball. And so luckily the screw has a hole in the middle goes in just like that. But now you gotta make sure that everything kind of goes in together. And so, yes, that sounds good. Mm. There's nothing worse than congestion. Okay, this looks good. And it's seated even better. Moving on. <laughs> Quick question, power valves. Which one's the new one and which one's the old one? Let's give it the good old test. Nice, nice flexible spring. Doesn't do anything. This is the new one. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> wasn't sure if he had shut it off. Okay, so power valve, like I said. So the first thing we're gonna do is put on the gasket and it's gonna go in this hole here. So this can be a little bit tricky what we're gonna do, obviously it spins into place, but you wanna make sure that the gasket is also aligned with the whole power valve itself. And so this is where the screwdriver kind of comes into play. So you can kind of keep it. Although, you know what, I think I freaking nailed it. Yeah, that looks pretty damn good. Okay, so what we're gonna do, oh wait, there's actually a notch, but no, I mean, that looks good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> okay, I'm also on heavy cold medicine. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up just a little bit further. And we're good to go. Yay! Power valve, gasket, cover, and screws. Coming up next. Okay, gasket, bam. Okay, this one, we looked it up and these little ears, I mean, it actually kind of looks like a dog face. So the ears go in to the inner wall there, just like that, line it up with the gasket. And now it's time for the screws. And again, I like to line everything up. Before I tighten. Okay. 
that dog. Yeah. <laughs> Frenchies are seriously some of the loudest dogs ever, and I never would have guessed. They are snorty little pigs. Adorable, but very, very snorty. Okay. And again, be very careful with these screws. You don't want to, um, yeah, wreck them. Beautiful. Okay, we're good to go. Dash pot. Dampens the throttle when it closes. That's all she wrote. Okay, so this goes in, basically there's a screw hole right here. And then you'll notice there's a nub on the other side of it right here. And so that, there is another little hole because this thing is full of holes that is ready made for that. So it should go in. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna line it up. There we go. So I just felt literally the nub fit into it. So I'm gonna grab my screwdriver. Hmm, I'm sorry, I'm so schmucky, you guys. I just really wanna get this done. Clearly, Polly doesn't mind. There we go. Don't wanna strip this. I mean, it looks like it's in, but it's not in. There we go. Okay, so you guys heard that. Beautiful. Not the action line it up. Awesome. So again, sometimes these things just take a little bit of finagling. Sweet, and our dash pot's in. Idle screws. Okay, these go in. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see. So basically one on each side and they're gonna go in at kind of an angle, which now it's been a while, but I just realized these are probably visual references because why else would they be there? It doesn't seem like they need to be out like dog ears, but anyway, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna turn this around again and you wanna be very, very gentle because the tip is very brittle, very sharp, yada, yada. Okay. And also, <laughs> don't forget the spring. And you shouldn't need a tool for this. There we go. And as always, do not fight these. They will go in. And so I'm just gonna lightly put that in right there. I'm gonna come in on the other and put this guy in. There we go. And you can hear the spring tighten. I like that sound. Like dink, dink. Cool. Okay, we're gonna move on. We are almost done, you guys. I am just woo, over the moon here. Okay, before we put on the top plate, this is the ideal time to do a visual check and a shake test. Not like a shake, 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 You'll, I'll show you. Okay, so basically with the visual, we've got the clips on, the floats are in place, everything looks good. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and shake it just a little bit to make sure nothing flies out. What I'm gonna do is put my thumbs over the floats and so they don't get to like get any damage done to them, you know? Yeah, nothing's coming out. This is great. Okay, oh, that's Dion's favorite verse. This is great. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is put on the gasket first. Now, this actually, the first time I looked at it, I was like, oh, it must go on like that. But you can see, even though some of it matches up, it really doesn't. And so what's awesome is if you turn it over, then all of a sudden, you can go by the middle because this little piece right here, it's like kind of curved on each side, matches up perfectly with the curved spot in the middle. So to make a long story short, there we go. So that looks good. Now I'm gonna come over and do the top plate. And so again, the curved part at the bottom matches the curved part at this bottom. So that's also a good way to do it. You also wanna make sure that this brass piece doesn't hit anything unnecessarily because it could get bent and that wouldn't be good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, just like 
Take this. That is looking pretty darn good. Okay, so it's screw time. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in the screws. <laughs> I got a little dangerous for a second there. Yeah. There we go. So I like to do kind of like both outsides. Woo! Without scratching it. And then work my way in. Sometimes I like to fling a screw across the room just for fun. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them all. Not like super tight, but just so they're snug. Sweet. Okay, we are. Did I check this one? And it's always good to check because there were a lot of screws on this. Yeah, I got that one. Perfect. It's starting to look like a real carb. Thermostat time. We are coming down to the wire. Okay, so first we're going to put on the gasket, and that fits just like this. So it's a little bit of a tight fit, but there we go. But it should stay there. Okay, now we're taking the actual thermostat, and with this guy, you'll see that it has kind of an open spot right there where it kind of reaches down, and you'll notice what looks like a fork right here. And so you wanna fit that in between the fork. So it sounds weird, but when you're doing it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And here's, so now that goes down just like that because obviously you don't wanna block the screw bolts. Okay. So that is on, beautiful. And now <laughs> this weird little bracket. So when I first flipped it over, I was like, oh, that looks like it probably goes up like this, like around and, you know, for the screws. But actually it will only fit the correct way. Thank goodness. And so it actually goes up this way, but you still may need to uh, kind of play with it a bit, but actually you don't need to play with it at all. Okay, so we're gonna put on the screws. And these are pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use the screwdriver right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that this is just about done. You have no idea. Ah. So you may have to hold down the cap once it gets closer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth these down. And then we only have one step left before we put it on grandpa truck, which I may have to persuade 
didn't do it tomorrow. <laughs> I thought the whole thing was gonna topple over. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, air cleaner stud. Let's go ahead and do this. So we put it down in the middle like that. I'm gonna go ahead and just twist, twist, twist until the hex touches just like that. And I'm gonna give it a quick tighten. There we go. Beautiful, just like that. And you'll notice I actually forgot to put the tag back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Just like this. And so future generations, AKA my uh, cousins, will know that their cousin Rachel put this together correctly and put the tag back on. Beautiful. Okay, next time you see this carb, it's gonna go on grandpa truck. It's fully complete. It's all measured out to the specs of my truck. And again, when you build yours, go ahead and check all your manuals, forums, thus and thus forth for your truck. But man, this looks awesome. So, oh my gosh, so I guess I can close this out. <laughs> so thank you for watching this R&D Garage video. Thank you to all my subscribers. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm still obviously a little congested, so I'm not thinking correctly, but yes, this is put together correctly, and I'm glad you guys enjoy my videos so much. So again, hit that subscribe button because the next project we do is putting this car back on Grandpa and seeing how he's gonna run. Thanks again, you guys. Take care.